It's pickup time. Let's see what I picked up. All right, so I'm going to mention this one last time. This was a giveaway win from Mr. Home Arcade. I mentioned him a few times now. Great channel. He does a lot of different Motu stuff. So I highly recommend if you're into that kind of thing. Um, definitely check it out. But yes, the Demi Gorgon I think will be a great addition to Skeletor's crew. Just a good looking figure. I like how they did the shading on the muscles and everything like that. Uh, like I said, I did a dedicated unboxing video, so you can check that out if you are inclined to do so. This is this looks familiar. This Skeletor does look familiar, but there are some differences. I mean, the coloring on the armor and everything like that is a little bit shinier. And they did do some shading around the muscles and things like that. So it is a little different, but it is very familiar as well. But happy to have won that giveaway. You can check out that unboxing video, like I said, if you are inclined to do so. Now, some gifts that I was given. Uh, I am very appreciative of the person that has given me all the 2000X figures. Asked if I wanted these, and I said, of course. Now, I wasn't aware of this. I think this was, I thought this was kind of interesting. This is the Skeletor Bat Fight Pack. Now, this, I don't know if this is a 2000X uh, answer to Screech, but you can see it goes on Skeletor. I still need a 2000X Skeletor, so I am definitely looking out for that. But he uses the tail as a whip, and it helps him fly. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was interesting too. I love I love the stickers. So two ninety nine reduced to a dollar. So very interesting there. I already opened up this Prince Adam. Because I'm going to put him on display. Now I do have. I didn't sell all my. My revelations and new Eternia figures. I kept the He-Man and Skeletor. I did keep some. Classics figures as well. That I really really like. So I have. A bunch of. Prince Adam, He-Man and Skeletor figures. That I do have upstairs. So this is where this guy is going. So very appreciative. Very happy to have him in my collection. So. Prince Adam is going on that display there. Now, recently, I received from Entertainment Earth, because I did a uh, pre-order of Reptilax for the Snake Man. Now, they've been doing a lot, man. They've been really putting out the Snake Man, which is interesting. I'd like to see some more Horde, honestly. But uh, Mattel has been definitely going uh, hard in the paint with the Snake Man. This guy is looking good. I like the head sculpt is definitely new. I am going to do an unboxing of the Snake Men. But there are some similarities here with the weapons. the With the uh, Ram Man Battle Axe, the Triclops Sword, and of course the Snake Men's Shield. But he has a tail. Uh, very good looking figure. Really, really, really like this one. So I am excited to unbox Reptilax. Now, in Walmart, I was recently able to find Terror to go along with my Lord Grasp. I was very, very excited. And, you know, I wish I would have taken some footage here, but a lot of, with, um, with these guys, I was really, really looking uh, quickly in the mornings before I'd go to work. I mean, I made it kind of like an, a daily thing where I'm going to check to see if these guys were in Walmart because I have two Walmarts, only one carry Master of the Universe figures. And uh, I had not been able to find other Walmart exclusive figures. So to find these was very uh, satisfying and, and gratifying. So I'm hoping you guys find them as well. Just keep up the hunt. Um, but yeah, so within the last week, I was able to find Terror. So if you see... Uh, Cartoon Stratos and Merman look high and low on the shelves for these guys because I actually found Lord Grasp on the very top shelf. Somebody must have put him there, but I saw him hanging out there, so I was able to grab him. And then, and then it was like a couple weeks later where I was able to find Terror. So to find these guys, it was kind of fun. The hunt was fun. The fact that I could find them, and especially in my area, 
uh, because this Walmart that, that had these, they weren't carrying many Motu figures to begin with. They just all of a sudden started carrying them, which was really strange. But yeah, so happy to find those. But yeah, uh, again, going to do an unboxing of those on a later date. Now, two figures that I was really excited to get. Now, I am... I love the commemorative line. There's just something about it that just really has resonated with me within the last um, six months or so. And uh, so I made it kind of like a mission to purchase them. So I'm going to do dedicated videos on the commemorative line because there's a, kind of a lot to go over. I'm going to try to kind of just skim the surface here. So in 2000, 2001, in kind of preparation for the 20th anniversary of... Uh, he-Man, Mattel released these uh, commemorative figures, and it's really kind of Mattel's first Motu adult collecting line, because if you look at the top of the card, it will actually say limited edition for the adult collector, and so they released different packs. They released a 10-pack, two 5-packs, 16 individual figures, and then you had the kind of special pack with like Panthor and Skeletor and then you had a pack with He-Man and Battle Cat. And now the two five packs had uh, exclusive figures. So each each pack would say, oh, limited to this amount, limited to this amount. However, that's not really true because sometimes you would get doubles with the individual figures. Um, like I said, I'll go over that that in another video, so try not to keep things too confusing. So, the two five packs came with exclusive figures, meaning you could only get these figures in the five packs. And the five packs were limited to 8,000. So, in the five pack that I have here, the, the exclusive figure is Moss Man. Now, in the other five pack, the exclusive figure is Prince Adam. So you could only get these figures in the five packs, meaning so they were only limited to 8,000, making them the more, you know, rare figures or limited figures. So to have these was very exciting to me just because I just, for whatever reason, the packaging and... Um, it's funny, too, because the packaging will say authentic replicas of the original figures, which just kind of, just word-wise seems kind of funny, but um, they are. There are differences between the commemorative figures and the, and the vintage figures, which I'll go over in a later video. But to have these exclusive figures, which are really the limited um, number run figures, I was very excited. So those are kind of my grail items. I mean, each collection, we have our own individual goals and things like that. And the this was one of my collecting goals was to have the exclusive commemorative figures, Moss Man and Prince Adam. So to have them, it feels really good. Uh, I do have to thank the eBay sellers that actually sold them to me. Now... I'll probably never sell on eBay again because of the service charges and shipping. It just eats up so much of your profit. But these individuals were allowed, I mean, allowed me to purchase these at a price I was willing to pay. And um, I feel like I, I get a good deal and I was happy with it. Um, so I definitely appreciate them accepting my offers. And uh, to have these um, is exciting. I mean, right? Um, the little things that make us happy. So really, that is this video in terms of things that I picked up. I feel like, man, a lot of good stuff here. Very excited to have these. Um, I'll do unboxings of certain things as I go along here. Because um, I'll unbox these uh, Lord Grasp and Terror together. Reptilex, I'm probably going to unbox with uh, Necroconda when I get him from Big Back Toy Store and the Diabolical Snake Men kind of all together. 
because um, I'm going to display those ones kind of together and um, separately. But yeah, that's, that's going to do it for me. And so until next time, we will see you. Bye.